Jupiter, Florida is a highly sought after location due to its vibrant outdoor lifestyle, crystal clear waters, beautiful beaches, and amazing lifestyle. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the five top reasons why you should put Jupiter, Florida at the top of your list. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a quick tip on moving to this amazing area. I'm Dylan Snyder, local real estate professional here in Palm Beach County. Welcome to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of upcoming videos of life here in this amazing area. And as much as I love making these videos, I'd love even more if you'd reach out to my team and I to assist you with all of your real estate needs here in Palm Beach County. Did you know that during World War II, Jupiter played a crucial role in naval operations? The Jupiter Lighthouse served as a US Navy radio detection station credited with sinking over 60 German submarines along the Atlantic coast. Pretty fascinating stuff, right? Now let's dive in to the top five reasons to move to Jupiter in 2025. Number one is the beach and the water vibe. Jupiter offers about 3.4 miles of pristine beaches. And here's the best part, no annoying metered parking anywhere. Even in the midst of season, you can find a parking spot. Plus it's one of the few places in the state with a dog friendly beach. It's a two and a half mile stretch of beach from Marcinski Road north to Carlin Park property line. With warm and clear waters and a variety of water sports such as fishing, paddleboarding, kite surfing, swimming, snorkeling, and surfing, Jupiter is a paradise for beach lovers and waterfront homeowners alike. Number two, you have a small town feel and you're really, no matter where you are, close to everything. With a population of just over 67,000 people and only 22 square miles, Jupiter retains its small town charm while being close to everything you need. Whether it's great restaurants, beaches, or major highways, you're never too far from anywhere. Commuting is a breeze with the Palm Beach International Airport just about 20 minutes away. And if you wanna hop over to Disney, Orlando's only about a two hour drive. Fort Lauderdale and Miami are also within a short drive if you're looking to go to a Miami Heat game, Marlins game, or maybe go down and check out the scenes of South Beach. You can also hop on the Bright Line from West Palm Beach, take it down to Miami if you're looking to avoid traffic. If you're in Jupiter to Cuesta Palm Beach Gardens, what I love to tell people is everything is really within 10 minutes from each other. Number three, and it may sound silly, but commercial signs aren't allowed to be higher than 10 feet in the air. Now that's one of the things that attracted me to the area when I first moved here. When you drive down US-1 or some of the main arteries of Jupiter, you'll notice instantly how clean the skyline is. Jupiter takes pride in its clean, unobstructed views, thanks to regulations that limit signage, types, and sizes. Here are some signs that are not permitted in the area of Jupiter. Flashing, moving, or animated signs, signage on benches, painted wall signs, signs which cover or interrupt or disrupt major architectural features of a building, illuminated awnings that are designed to draw attention, billboard signs, there is actually only one billboard in all of Jupiter and it's over by the Walmart area. Any neon signs are not permitted and technically really any signs more than 10 feet high are not permitted in the town of Jupiter. Number four, is all of the amazing parks and preserve areas here in Jupiter. Whether you're hiking, biking, or simply enjoying nature, Jupiter has you covered. The town has done an amazing job at keeping the natural beauty of the town with thousands of acres of parks and preserve areas. Some of my favorites are Du Bois Park, which is where we currently are, and it features a cool, lazy river and a lot of swim areas where you can snorkel. You have Carlin Park over by the Jupiter Beach. There's a heart trail, and you have an amphitheater with beach access. The amphitheater has a lot of Shakespeare plays and other events. River Event Park offering canoeing and kayaking and you have biking and horse trails and of course the many many dog parks scattered throughout the town. There are many more to choose from but these are some of my personal favorites in the town of Jupiter. One to keep note of if you go up to Hobe Sound you have Jonathan Dickinson State Park which you can camp, canoe, and bike. They have great mountain biking trails if you're into mountain biking but Jonathan Dickinson is a highly sought after park for uh, recreation and activities. And the last one, number five, 
you have tons of great housing options. No matter your lifestyle or budget, whether you're looking for multi-million dollar ultra luxury waterfront homes, or if you're looking for a more modest priced townhome, Jupiter has something for everybody. So the town of Jupiter is actually a very safe area with low crime rates, and the public school ratings are actually fairly high. Florida is not known for amazing public schools, I'll just say that. But if you're moving anywhere in Palm Beach County, Jupiter is one of the spots that families kind of seek out for uh, the school systems. And with the market transitioning more into a buyer's market, now is really an amazing time to make that move if you're considering it. Like I said earlier in the video, no matter where you are or where you decide to reside, you're really only within 10 or 15 minutes from everything. And that includes beaches, shopping, amazing restaurants, and lots of things to do. So guys, in the beginning of the video, I mentioned I had a quick tip for you. And if you're a home buyer that's considering a move to the Jupiter area, the market is currently transitioning uh, more from a seller's market into a buyer's market. So if you have questions on the current status of the market and how you would be able to best position yourself, please don't forget to reach out to my team and myself so we can further assist you and guide you. So that's a wrap, guys. Thank you for watching the top five reasons to move to Jupiter, Florida in 2025. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. I'm out.